Good morning and welcome back to Core 4 Adventures. We are on our Alaskan cruise on the NCL Encore. Today is a sea day, which gives us tons of time to check out all there is to do on the ship. First up, enjoying the views from our balcony as we relax and take in the morning. Now that we are up and going, let's check out the pool deck. Even though this is an Alaskan cruise, it's not that cold today, and it looks like there are a few brave folks enjoying the pools. And maybe even up on the water slides. They look like a lot of fun. Here, you can see the drop slide go right off the edge of the ship. This next area is probably one of the most famous areas of an NCL ship. Where else can you ride go-karts out in the middle of the ocean? Next up is the Laser Tag Arena, also on this deck. The theme starts before you even get there. It doesn't look like anyone is playing right now, but this is a really cool area built around this gigantic snake. This is the Galaxy Pavilion, where all the virtual reality rides are. The VR technology makes you feel like you are really riding a roller coaster or hang gliding. There is also an escape room in this area called Captain's Quest. Looks like a lot of fun. And now we're in one of our favorite places on the ship. Just off the local is a games area. Here you can play a game of pool. There's bowling, basketball, video games, and even darts. It's not very busy today and we have it all to ourselves right now. Just enough time to play some Mario Kart. And don't forget about the casino and onboard shopping. This ship has just about everything. Look at these big fluffy blankets. Those would be fantastic for your balcony on Glacier Bay Day. And of course you can get fantastic drinks throughout the ship. This is Malty's, which is a whiskey bar. And you can do some whiskey flights. Like these two gentlemen right here are drinking whiskey before dinner. Yes, we are because we're the whiskey bar. This is an old fashioned made with my favorite bourbon that you can get anywhere, Woodford Reserve. They have it right here. It's with the drink package, nothing extra. And it's fantastic, full of uh, bitters, got some cherries in there, fantastic. Next to the whiskey bar maltings is a cigar lounge called the Humidor. And on the same deck is the Cavern Club, which is a Beatles themed nightclub. You can see tribute bands here several times a night. So much fun. The Cellars Wine Bar hosts some really fun events, like a wine and chocolate pairing, wine and tapas tasting, and a black glass wine tasting. Shout out to the sommelier. He was great. The District Brew House is my favorite place to spend time on a sea day. You can get craft beer on tap. There's often sports on the TV and live music in the evenings. You could definitely get some great beer here, even as part of the free at sea beverage package. So one of our favorite things to do on an NCL cruise is to get a pass to the thermal suite. There's so many great things to do in here. They only sell 150 of them per cruise, so it's never overly crowded like some of the other areas on the ship. And it has so many great things to help you really relax and feel like you've got a great vacation. And that's right, the number one thing is the Thalasso pool, which is just like a giant, jetted, warm hot tub um, that has a waterfall that can massage your shoulders, a real hot tub that is built in, and a full body bubble section. It is so fantastic. That is my personal favorite part of this thermal suite. In addition to the Thalasso pool, there are many different areas like where we're in the scenarium right now, where it's a, a warm, 
not quite too dry and you get all hot and sweat out all of those toxins in your body and then you go jump into the snow room. That's right, they have a snow room where you go and cool down. They've got a regular sauna, they've got a eucalyptus steam shower, and a salt bath. I mean, the it salt just bath for your lungs. It just goes on and on and on. And my favorite part of the thermal suite are the heated stone loungers. That's right. I said heated stone loungers. You can lay on those. It really relaxes your back. And there is a beautiful view out of the aft of the ship. It, it's a must for us, and I think that you'd probably like it too. So we are eating at Los Lobos tonight for dinner. It's date night, just Pepper and I, and the first thing on the agenda is guacamole that is made at your table side. So it could not be any fresher than this. Maria from Belize made this such a fun and unique experience for us. It's guacamole, made in Alaska. Surprisingly good. Mm. I got the empanadas. I can't wait to try these because I love empanadas. It reminds me of going in, uh, we had a vacation in Puerto Rico where they sold these just on the beach. It was the best beach vacation, so this is going to take me back right now. I got the cochinita peeble, which is a dish I learned about by watching CNN and uh, Eva Longoria's uh, show about Mexico. Uh, I believe it's Yucatan Peninsula, but you might have to correct that but it is braised pork, <laughs> ancho chilies, lots of tons of spices. And so it's, it's, it's similar to a al pastor, which is my favorite kind of uh, taco and Mexican meat. Rice beans, tortillas, pickled red onions. What more, do you, what more can you ask for? This is it right here. This is so I went with the pork enchiladas with the uh, verde sauce on top of it. I'm really excited about this. I also got the rice and the beans as a side, um, but I'm just a big enchilada fan and I love the a verde sauce. So you can see just like all that tender, tender pork on the inside. You've got the creme fraiche on the top with the, the green sauce. It's going to be amazing. It's probably going to be really hot. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. The pork is amazing. The sauce is great. I couldn't be happier. For dessert, I had the Buenelos de la Abuela, which are the fried beignets covered in cinnamon with brown sugar syrup and guava. Vanilla ice cream with a dulce de leche sauce. That's the perfect way to end this meal. So we're waiting for dinner at La Bistro, the French restaurant on the ship. Last time it was absolutely our favorite restaurant. So looking forward to it. Okay, Randy, so what are you having for your soup and salad course? The French onion soup. And if you're at a French restaurant, you have to try French onion soup. Very delicious. Probably one of the best I've had. Besides my wife's. Hers are better. But the star of the show was the entree. Well, being from the Midwest, I do love a good steak. And they, no one does it better than a bistro. And they put a pat of foie on top of it, which is liver, uh, goose liver, which is fabulous with the steak, especially with the red wine reduction they have on. So I think hands down this is the best entree on the entire <laughs> ship, and I got the same thing. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. It does not disappoint. Very, very good. So what are you having for dessert? 
the Marquis de Chocolat, which is 70% dark chocolate. It's got a raspberry puree, raspberry on top, a little gold leaf over here, fresh made cream, and a strawberry flavored cookie. This was definitely a sea day to remember, topped by a delightful date night dinner and delectable desserts. We're glad you joined us today. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more Core 4 adventures. Don't miss next time when we make our first port stop in Juneau, Alaska. There's whales and heights and views and hikes, amazing sights and crab legs to top it all off.